Welcome to the Pittsburgh Business Version, where we interview successful business owners to educate the virgin segment of the population who are thinking about starting their own businesses. I'm your host, Brad Hilbert, president of Three Rivers Wealth Management Group. Welcome back to the next segment of the Pittsburgh Business Virgin. We're here again with Jeff Sasana of Massage Envy in Squirrel Hill. Brad, you want to take us away? <laughs> <laughs> that was a w- wonderful segue. <laughs> Um, I, you know, the, the lifeblood of, of any organization or any, you know, any business is, is, is typically uh, new clients and then, then obviously repeat customers. But mm-hmm. from the standpoint of new clients and marketing, how do you drive your marketing? What, what, what do you think is the most important thing you do around marketing? And what are some of the strategies that you tend to, to utilize? Um, when we first opened, we used a lot of the Val Pack, the Clipper magazines. Um, like a lot of that can work, um, but I think after a while, you keep seeing those the same things over and over again. I think um, they start to lose their, their gumption. Um, I think really what helps us is word of mouth. I mean, if you have a customer that's happy, you know, the first thing you say is, you know, how did you hear about us? You know, that when they call in, or you know, you ask them for referrals. You know, because how a business model is, if someone comes in. And we, uh, we give you five guest pass. If they give them out, they come in for free, and they could actually win more, like, re- reward massages. So that's what's great. So there's that way, and pretty much, I think, just word of mouth. And, I mean, Pittsburgh's typical, you know, well, my aunt did this, my uncle did this. I think it's pretty much word of mouth here in Pittsburgh. You know, it's not like a major city where you have to do, spend a million dollars on advertising, you know. To do a good job for people and sent them to tell others about, <laughs> about you. That's it, yeah. Give them some incentives, yeah. Sounds good. Now, Jeff, what keeps you motivated every day to, to get up and go to work and, and do what you do? Um, pretty much for me, um, it's I like the fact that like a lot of people are dependent on me. Like Probably 40 or 50 people that work for me are dependent on me to you know go out there and get more business. And I, I told my therapist when I started, that was my thing. I'm going to make sure you're full every day. You know, that's that's my deal. And I want to make sure that our brands out there and, you know, you're not sitting around like bored all the time. So we're Rain, totally making. full. Yeah. You're the rainmaker. Yep. And we're totally full all the time, which is amazing. So. It's amazing for everybody. Yeah. I mean, and 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 to your point, it's not just the 40 or 50. It's, you know, how many of those people have families and kids and, mm-hmm. you know, significant others, husbands, wives, what have you that are dependent upon them to uh, to have a job. And especially in... In this, in, in this economy where where you know they say it's 10 percent unemployment but uh we, we we would argue that when you add in underemployment you're probably more in the 16 17 percent range yeah and so al- and also too is in in my industry the good thing about me what motivates me is these people help people like my therapists are amazing and they're actually go to work to help people it's not like they're making a million dollars and because you know the, the pricing structure is a little bit lower but they really like to help people. So to me, it, it's like twofold. It's amazing. So, Reward. Mm-hmm. Um, it's been said that eight out of ten small business businesses fail. What do you think makes those two businesses different than, than the other eight? Uh, pretty much um, you have to have a pretty good head on your shoulders. You can't overspend. Um, there might be some days. Hold where on. Say that again. My, wife, my <laughs> wife's in the room. You can't <laughs> overspend on, on, on what? Well, I mean, you just there there might be some days where you don't have a paycheck and you have to pay payroll. You know, you just have to keep control and forecast your expenses and you have to be smart about that cuz you know, n- you know, you have your taxes, you have your employees, you have your matching, you have the government. There's everyone has their hand in your pocket where you have to forecast out, okay, for 6 months later we just did um we just did a major expansion for the facial department but i knew every two years i want to reinvent the wheel because i want them to come back you know to my location because we're a franchise because we we're we're once cut above you mean that's what you got to do but you have to keep you know a good record keeping system like a quickbooks where like we keep quickbooks updated once a month where i can tell where my cash flow is coming in and and every time you get a member that's money that's going to come in to your store every month and then the more members you get and that you know that 
it's, it's amazing. Well, yeah, reoccurring, almost like, uh, almost becomes like retainer. Mm-hmm. It's retainer like a retainer. Type. Yeah. And with us, what, my store, what we do is if people don't can't come in or, you know, if they can't come in, I'm like, look, I'll let you give your prepaid to a charity. Like if they can't come in or say that like they moved or something like that, they could always move around the country. But I, I mean, you paid for that. I don't want to see them rip them off either. Like some places will just be like, well, you know, sucks to be you. you you're not coming anymore. We're taking your, your, your prepaid. You're unspent. Want, you're yeah. unspent. Yeah. Peace, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Sounds good. Thanks, Jeff. We're going to break again from the Pittsburgh Business Virgin. Uh, make sure you check out uh, Jeff at Massage Envy uh, in Squirrel Hill. Uh, first time customers, $39 for an hour massage and $49 for facials. So thanks, Jeff, again for coming in. We appreciate your time. And we're going to break from this segment. Thank you. Are you tired of your financial future being tied to a Wall Street firm? Get back to Main Street. Secure your family's financial future with a hometown planner. Three Rivers Wealth Management Group in Pittsburgh for Pittsburghers. TRWMG.com. That's TRWMG.com.